Oftentimes, the TF2 community is dissected into the casual and competitive scenes. There's no simple way to boil these sides down to one standard definition. A competitive player could range from just wanting to win a match to, well, organized esports. And a casual player could range from offshoot alternative game modes to full friendly in servers to being a trader to just wanting to play a game every once in a while. This dynamic is important to understand what my commentary will be about today. And it's the huge misunderstanding and, well, general gap that casual players say about competitive players. The idea that, well, that's all they are, competitive. And I'm here to be that representative for the middleman. I'm a guy that enjoys a good round of Highlander. I'm a guy who likes to go and play competitive TF2 every once in a while. I enjoy a good sweat lobby, but even then, I'm also a guy who plays the game very chill. I like to play casual casually, I don't kill friendlies, and sometimes I enjoy funny TF2 moments. It's just that I'm, I'm sick and tired of being associated as a sweat who wants to kill the magic of TF2. Casual is for comp players too. And what many TF2 players can't seem to comprehend is a game where the competition is in competitive and the casual is in casual. Whenever the casuals try to influence this game, you keep getting the worst weapon balancing that has led to months where there's that one gun that is broken as shit and ruins lobbies. And when the competitive players convinced Valve to rework the casual system, I am now stuck with this MMR hellhole. As someone who enjoys being competitive, I miss the casual nature of casual. I just want a separate system for when I'm in the mood to be competitive. But for some reason, casual has to also have competitive aspects, and this just drives me insane. I can live with the 12v12 nature of the game, and I enjoy just dropping into a match and playing the game as is, but more importantly, I'm sick and tired of integrating competitive aspects into a casual system. Why is there party v party matchmaking? If I wanted party v party matchmaking, I would go play organized Thailander. I just want to play with my friends and not constantly run into sweats that treat us like we're fucking Froyo Tech. I'm sick and tired of casual MMR and skill-based matchmaking. If you didn't know, TF2 has a hidden casual MMR that adjusts your rating to try and make the match more even. This sounds nice, except for people like me that try and play casual casually and, well, fuck, sorry, I guess I'm too good because I get top frag, and then all of a sudden, my next match, I'm in a server where the my opponent is some goddamn soldier with 10,000 hours and an e-girl pocket rolling my whole team, so I have to sweat every lobby just so we don't get spawn camped there are too many vocal casual supporters in the tf2 community that come off as if every comp player believes in this sweaty nirvana where friendlies don't exist but even banny the sweat king recognizes the value of casual part of tf2 and understands that they are a pillar which props up this game's legacy this is why i've made this video to stand tall and say that i am here I am competitive, but I miss the old system. I am tired of having to wait 10 hours to join my party's match in progress when six years ago, I could just join their server with no problem. I'll admit, I like being able to queue for multiple maps at the same time. It gives me this artificial variety and allows me to experience new things instead of doing upward bad water, upward bad water, upward bad water. So I could live with the current map queue system, but for the love of God, please get rid of this MMR and just let me play the game. This new MMR system was meant to make more balanced casual matches and prevent rolls. But sometimes it feels like the only reason my team is getting rolled is because I'm constantly forced to sweat. And therefore, I basically need to throw my next match just to make up for the fact that I had one good game. It just seems like us more experienced players are now playing glorified competitive with no stakes. Maybe instead of using the MMR system for what it is now, use it to focus on keeping sniper bots and hackers out of our matches because the MMR would put these blatantly obvious hackers in lobbies with each other because they're so good that their hacks would only put them at superhuman levels of ranking. Another thing as well, random crits. I think you casuals vastly underestimate how many non-sweats there are that hate random crits. You non-tryhards don't seem to understand that it's not just a balancing thing, it's not fun! Which I thought you non-tryhards were all about having fun. 
Even your damn savior, Lazy Purple, is tired of random crits. Why? Because they're not fun, and they're not funny after the 700th time. Have you ever played another enjoyable FPS? Any any other FPS, or any game that has gun mechanics, and that doesn't feature random crits? It's so refreshing, and it doesn't kill the vibe. It doesn't kill the momentum of the game. I love playing casual, and I love casual as a whole, but dude, random crits just don't belong in this game. They're not fun, and they're not good. And don't say that this is a casual thing, because it's not a casual thing, it's just stupid, and you guys are coping. Also, as a quote-unquote tryhard, I'm sick of sniper's bullshit. People often compliment how good I am at sniper, and you know how I respond? I say, I'm not a good sniper, I'm a sniper abuser. Because honest to god, I have never, ever seen someone outright deny that snipers shouldn't get any nerfs whatsoever. Maybe, okay, maybe they're apologetic at most, but I swear to god, the idea that casuals think that they are at war with comp players over nerfing snipers is outlandish. This idea that only the casual community is like, it's that's the, the competitive player's fault. No, we've known for years how broken Sniper is. It just took the bots to really make casual players understand how ridiculous he is. Now, I'm not saying that all casuals think this way. The same way that not all sweats think this way. But sometimes, y'all really come off this way. But, like, when it comes to the vocal members of the TF2 community, they're almost always casual, and they are almost always dickish on the fucking comp players. We have, like, Banny and maybe Fat Magic. That's about it. I'm telling you, there are comp players that love to play casual casually. There are comp players that miss those community servers in that community vibe. Stop trying to delude us as this foreign entity that is trying to ruin your precious little PUDIS 100 game, okay? We love this game just as much as you do, and we want to see it succeed just as much as you do. Just because we want to integrate some competitive things doesn't mean we want to integrate them into casual. I miss the old casual TF2 because casual was for comp players too. Thank you for listening. Can we get a dispenser, please? the dispenser.
<laughs> you already know. We've got to stop that bomb. Here they come. Done. Fuck the rocket launcher, man. The shotgun is awesome. Right here. 